Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Another day, another install and preview for the Xiaomi Mi A1. Today, we're gonna install Cardinal AOSP based on Android 8.1 for the Xiaomi Mi A1. Now, this is going to be an install and preview, so we will show you the step-by-step -step process and a quick look at the ROM. But before we do that, here's a card to the latest giveaway, which will allow you to win the Redmi Note 5 Pro once we hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. At the same time, if you like motorbikes, motovlogging and a lot of fun stuff, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Please subscribe there as well. And without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kailash, let's begin. All right guys, so welcome back. And in this particular video, as I said earlier, this is an install and preview for Cardinal AOSP. Now to do this, as I said, you need a few things. You need to have TWRP installed, which of course needs a unlocked bootloader. I am thinking that I should make a video on that topic or not. You guys let me know in the comment section because there are already a lot of videos on how to install TWRP on the Xiaomi Mi A1. Now, before we begin, remember, Make sure you back up all your data, you have at least 50% battery and you have downloaded the ROM and the Google Apps file and copied to the internal memory or SD card of your phone. So to begin with, what we will do is we'll go to wipe and we will swipe to factory reset. So yeah, we won't be wiping the internal storage or anything of that sort. Then we will go to install and we will select the ROM. Okay, sorry about that. We'll go to install and select the ROM file first and swipe to flash. Now this flash will take anywhere between two to five minutes as always. So please be very, very patient and uh, wait for the installation to complete. After this, we will be installing Google apps and then we will be having a look at the first boot. And then in about three to five minutes, we will go around the ROM and we'll check the features, what are the customization options available and stuff like that. All right, so once the ROM has been installed, what we will do is we will go to install and we will select Google Apps and we will flash Google Apps as well. Now I did get some error, failed to mount system or something like that. I really don't know what that error is all about and it should not have a big problem booting up. We will see if it boots up or not, but I'm pretty sure it should boot up. Now Cardinal ASP, this ROM I have used on one other device. Once I look at the user interface, I should come to know. So once everything is done, we will wipe cache and Dalvik just to be safe. And then we will go to reboot system and do not install. Now the first boot may take between five to 10 minutes, but a few minutes back when I tried Pixel ROM, it did boot up for me within five minutes, but even if it takes more than five minutes, please be patient. All right, that's the boot animation for Cardinal AOSP. I really hope we don't get any force closure or anything of that sort. Now remember, I am doing this on a Oreo recovery. So if you're going to flash any Oreo ROMs and you are on Oreo, make sure you have the Oreo. Oh, so while I was talking, I just noticed that the ROM has booted up. Now what is strange is I did not get a setup screen even though we did a factory reset and I don't see any of the Google apps over here. So kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Uh, Google apps are not really that important for me. And if you have been with me on my channel for a while, you will know that we don't really use Google apps. I show how to flash Google apps is because you will need them for your daily driver. Nonetheless, we are here to talk about the ROM. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, talking about the home screen, there's a logo of that particular ROM, square icons, and once again, a very, very minimalistic and very few apps here. To be precise, there are around 15 apps. There's FM radio and other things as well. Apart from this, if we go to settings, let's go to system and it says about phone. Cardinal AOSP based on Android 8.1.0. That's your Easter egg over here. Now the next thing that we will go ahead and have a look is OTA updates. It, it says it supports OTA updates. Let's see if we have any updates available. I don't think we have any because that's the latest file we downloaded. Now apart from this, uh, this is the build number. Tissot is the name of the 
device and if we go to the about project and change log so you'll have all sorts of things about the rom mentioned over here you have a quick option to reset everything which is a good thing then you have gestures over here so just swipe fingerprint for notifications which is a stock gesture available in the xiaomi mi a1 let me just reduce the brightness slightly there for you guys yeah it looks better and jump to camera these are the two gestures available apart from this if we go at the top is there any special customization available yes there is it is known as the wings now that is the thing with custom roms all of them under the hood are the same but the customization menu is named in a different way let's go ahead and have a quick look at it so once we go to general you have expanded desktop so that is one option you have ui style scrolling cache wake on plug vibrate to connect and stuff like that if you go to the next option you have status bar customization you have quick settings notifications battery settings status bar icons you can enable network traffic double tap to sleep is also there oh yeah that works as well and double tap to wake is working as well so that is something nice if you go to buttons you have an option to enable the navigation bar and that is a good thing but with bezels like these might as well use the on-screen keys because you won't see them in any of the latest devices moving on we have lock screen lock screen customizations and you can customize recents as well now let's quickly have a look at the camera here now the default app in here is snapdragon camera which is a good thing okay the front cam works and do we have portrait mode I don't see portrait mode here so that's fine at least the camera is working uh, next thing to check voice over LTE the icon is displayed here that means voice over LTE should be working let's go ahead and call 198 and see if voice over LTE is working okay so yeah, looks like I have inserted the SIM card in the second SIM slot. Although voice over LTE is working because my Airtel SIM has voice over LTE. Let's try making a call through Airtel here. Welcome to Airtel. All right. So voice over LTE is working. Camera is working. So it's pretty much a stable stable rom and those are the features and the first look at cardinal aosp i really hope you guys liked the video if you did like share and subscribe guys and don't forget to stay tuned for the upcoming videos in the next 10 days we are going to have a lot of videos about the xiaomi a1 until we move to the new star on the channel which is going to be the one plus six this is kailash signing off for now with smartphone tutorials take care keep smiling see you soon